Hello, hello decorators! Welcome to Decor Lab. In this video, I will show you how to create this very cool fireworks element. This element can be added to so many different setups like a garland, an arch like I have over here, or any type of other structures that you're creating. Wall, column, you name it. Are you guys ready to do it? Let's get started. You guys, so these are the balloons we are going to use. We have two sixes in two different colors. I have them in a mocha brown by Qualitex and I have them in Fashion Red by Sempertex. We will be using them in juices. So basically we will be inflating them, then releasing air, leaving a little tip inflated to create this cute little tip uh, hanging down and then we will reinflate it again. So let me show you how to do that. So let's take a 260. I have my legend over here for to speed up the process, but you can use a hand pop if you don't have one available for you. So it is full inflated right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to release a little bit of the air. So I have more flexibility in my 260. Now I'm going to press on the end of it to kind of measure on how big of a tip I want to have. Then by holding it, and you can even twist it to make sure you don't have any air coming, like coming out from that area, and then release air from the rest of the 260. Now you just simply reinflate it to the length that you want to have your base. I typically do them up to, I want to say 10 inches, nine to 10 inches. like so and then I'm leaving the tip holding you don't really have to hold it after after it's inflated and you're holding the neck of the balloon so after you're letting it go that's what it looks like so what I'm going to do I'm going to tie the end of it and I'm going to inflate the second one basically using the same technique So here this time I did not twist it and you'll see that the tip will stay in place. So now I'm going to tie two of them together. Again, they don't have to be perfectly the same size because when they are in a bunch like this, you don't really see which one's longer, which one's not. You want to just eyeball it and to make them approximately the same, but one inch here and there is not gonna make a big difference. So now I'm twisting and tying them. So now I have a deuce, right? So what we're going to do, we are going to create six deuces, um, just mixing the colors, and then we're going to twist them together in a cluster. That will give us a fireworks effect. So let me do that. You guys, I have six of them prepared over here. I have two in red and I have four in a mocha brown. What I'm going to do, I'm going to twist them now, two by two. So I'm taking two, uh, two deuces, crisscrossing them at the where the necks are tied and simply twisting them, crisscross basically. So that gives me uh, this element. Um, but now I'll add two more, twist, two more, twist. Now we start getting a nice fun shape out of this, right? So let's get our reds. So you can continue adding them. I'm gonna stop right here, really depending on the look you're going for. Um, now I'm just going to take an additional 260. I'm going to tie it around the base. like so. Now I'm going to create a loop. So now this element is ready to be added to any of the creations you want to add it to. A garland, an arch, like I have one behind me, a column, you name it, just to make it nice and spiky and add it a nice element, depending on the thing you guys are working with. Um, so simply take that 260 looped and add it around the balloon. So basically loop that around the balloon.
And here you have it, a fireworks element that can be added to any balloon display. Here we added to our arch, and you can find a video on how to create the arch and the base inside of the Decor Lab School. Let us know in the comments below what other videos you guys want to see, and I will see you in the next video.